Okay, I forgot to mention uh, the weather. I always forget that. But it's going to be a funny one. It's humid. Uh, 7.30 this morning, it was uh, 69 degrees out. Right now, there's no wind. Everything's calm. So. But anyway, it's a nice day. And I should be able to get these done here, get them ready. And that, that should really just about, that's going to be all I need. I should have one left over. Uh, and if I do need more, from, for some reason I can't use one of these, uh, I have more, you know, so it's not a big deal. So anyway, I'm going to get at it here and uh, uh, just get these cut and I'll lay them down on the ground like the other ones and uh, then I'm going to start getting them two by eights off the back there and getting that pile down and uh, so I can pick the best two by eights out that I have for the roof, so for the roof rafters. So anyway, that's what I'm working on now. So. I'll get back to
You want them, don't you? Down to my last hand. Oh, I should have enough. Shouldn't take more than ten to do this. This is the tape. And it seems like it's in every, every language but English, but anyway. It's good tape. this way. As usual, I'm not ready. Now what this does, this keeps the wood from making contact with the concrete. Whether it works or not, I don't know. That's like I said, whether whether it does any good or not, I don't know. But I'm I always fall on the side of caution and always make things you know, it's not that big of a deal to put this tape on. And it protects it. Plus it's got two coats of rubber spray on it from Flex Seal, so I think we're that one's done. Anyway, I don't know what to do with it now, so I'll get back to you.
All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six of them ready to go. Uh, four of them for the front are the 16 footers. And these are going to be 11 foot. These go to the back. I have to put tape on these yet. I haven't done that, but these are all done here. I'm ready to go. I gotta figure out where to put them. Uh, get them out of the way here. So I got uh, four more over here that I want to set up and get ready, and that should be enough for the whole building. So, and then all I gotta do is get the two by eights all out of here and put them somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'll stack them inside as much as I can, but I'm out of room there too. So anyway, and we got some crooked two by fours here. That one 16 footer. It's not real bad. It's got a little bow to it, but the other ones are they're really bad. They'll be good for bracing. That's all they're good for, as far as I'm concerned. Bracing or firewood. But, and I might replace one of these. I'm not sure which one, but uh, not sure. This one's got a crook down at the end down, down there. Actually, it was a, a saw cut. Went straight, and then the next one to it is the same way. The other one seemed to be fine. But, I had a dull blade apparently when I was trying to cut them. And, uh, well, you know what happens with a dull blade. So anyway, that's going to be it for now. I appreciate everybody coming along and uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, tomorrow I'll be back at it and we'll get those other four up here and we'll find a home for these to stack them. Uh, Saturday, now it's uh, Tuesday today. And uh, Saturday, I'm going to have help to... I could probably stand these ones up by myself if I had to. They're only 11 foot long. But these ones here, I'm too short. I, I get it so high and I can't go any higher with it because too much weight up above me. And, but uh, anyway, that's it for now. We'll get you on the next video. Appreciate everybody watching. Have a great day.